Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. As you guys have been seeing, I've been going through all the Brave Styles in the Monster Hunter Double Cross demo that's been released here in Japan. In this video, I want to take a look at Slash Axe, or sorry, Switch Axe. We call it Switch Axe in English, but it's Slash Axe in Japanese. Um, and it definitely was my main weapon in Monster Hunter Cross. I use the Aerial Style quite a bit. Um, so let's go check out the Brave Style and see what it has to offer. First, of course, we'll start out, we'll just check out all the moves and see what is missing and what isn't. So we'll start with Axe. Do we have the Downward, Side, Upward? Yes, that's good. Do we have our Standard Upward? Yes, and the Axe Chop combo. No Finisher. Okay, but you can evade out of it, that's good. So you can go Chop, Chop, get away. You have your Forward. Okay, so nothing's missing from Axe except for the ability to do that Finisher and the Chop combo. Uh, let's morph into axe here. Whoa, oh, we can't morph into sword, sorry, not axe. So one of the things that you lose the ability is to do free morphing into the two modes, which is, you'll see when you see the brave style why that is. So the non-brave, you can't really morph easily, and when you're in brave, all you can do is morph. It's, it's crazy. So we can't morph in there. Normally we'll have to use the sheath cancel in order to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and check out the sheath moves. We have Y and X. Gives us an... Okay, there's the finisher. Oh, that's nice. It's got good range. Just hit that and boom. I really like that. Let's try A. A doesn't do anything. Okay, let's try X. There we go. And there's our downward chop morph attack. So by hitting X, we can do these charged morphs. Okay, that's not so bad. Let's check out the sword. This is the X combo. Whoop, down. Okay, the stationary combo. That's really good to have. Let's check out the A's. One, two. Okay, so it's just a single. It's not a double here. That's fine. It's not that bad. Uh, can we do X and A? <laughs> no. <laughs> can we draw the X? Uh, draw the sword? We can. Okay, so this is good. So that's not so bad at all. And then we can morph back into X here. Cool, let's go and beef up that gauge and find out what happens when we go into Brave. I really feel bad for these monsters. They're sitting here as tools for us to abuse. Whoops, I just hit the wrong button. I thought I could hit A. Oh, X, sorry. <laughs> Did they kill him already? No, that barely built up gauge. Okay, so the finisher doesn't really build up a lot of gauge, but it does uh, it does have good reach. Oh, run right away! Ouch, okay, one more hit and we're in Brave. There we go. And of course we get that super fancy sidestep. That is so nice. Okay, let's see what we can do. Can we, we, this is our A1, okay. Can we morph normally? Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So the cool thing about this mode, and I cannot do all the combos, is that you can morph after anything, and it's considered a strong morph attack. So you can do like the X here, hit X, shoom. Or let's say we want to do a downward and then morph. Doesn't matter. We can morph any way in which way we want. Even after this? Okay, so you can't morph that way. So almost every move you can morph. Yeah, so you can just jam R like this and go crazy. That's really cool. I like it. And the cool thing is, is if you have gauge left up on the sword and you do your finisher, which is now a double finisher, you don't go get you don't get kicked back into axe mode. Boom, boom. Now it keeps you in this mode, which is great. Cool. So I mean we just have a lot of versatility to spam that morph attack and just keep hitting the monster over and over and over again. So let's go find a cuckoo and have some fun. We're almost out of Brave, so this is good. We'll see how it is to build up ga uh, Gauge against a monster. So 
Let's see if we can get a mount. One more hit should get us the mount. Then we can build up our brave gauge. Over here! That's why I love the axe. The, the reach on it is so good. I'm going to try doing uh, spamming morph attacks using the brave cancel. There we go. And let's go find and see what combos we can do. Ah, just go crazy on it. <laughs> let's try that uh, finisher, shall we? If we can get a flinch on him. Hang on a second. Mad chicken. That's got a tickle. Train slash. Oh, I see. You can redirect that thing's pretty good. It's still hard to pull off that uh, hunter art. It takes so long. Ouch. Oh, come on now. I'm really demoing these weapons so bad, but I'm so happy because I'm not gonna stress out about it. I think these these are literally just here to look at the mechanics, not to hunt like fabulously. Ah, he got away. Okay, well this gives, gives us the opportunity to finish him off using that double finisher. This could look nice. Where is he flying to? At least one good thing about the demo is they always show you where the monster is going, so you're not hunting around for it, because that would be a pretty bad experience with the game, <laughs> even though that's what happens in the real one. Don't forget your uh, paintballs. Okay, let's go for a stylish finish, shall we? Oh, come on, not you. That's a stylish finish for him, but not me. Oh, who's just stole my victory? Oh, that was not cool. <laughs> That's not cool at all. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the Switch Axe. It's going to be furious. I mean, you're going to be able to go ham on monsters. I'm sure those strong morph attacks are very high motion or... That is attack power, um, and it's just going to be a lot of fun, and being able to utilize that evade to uh, sort of get out of the way of attacks and to get that sidestep is going to be pretty sweet. Okay, well I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the Switch Axe, and until next time, happy hunting.